Glad to have you back. Global financial markets have been on a roller coaster in recent weeks as investors try to gauge how fast and how far the U.S. Federal Reserves and other major central banks are set to raise rates to combat inflationary pressure. While fears over a slowdown in global growth are spreading, in fact, the pace and scale of rate hikes delivered by the central banks in November picked up speed again as policymakers around the globe battle decades uh, high inflation. Central banks overseeing six of the ten most heavily traded currencies delivered 35 basis points uh, of rate hikes between then and last month. For more analysis, let's cross over to the United Kingdom where I'm being joined by an investment and financial adversary, Mr. Benga Ugrinola. Uh, thank you so much. It's good to have you on the show this Friday. Thank you, Tolu. It's nice to be here again. Uh, for, uh, I'll ask you a generalized question. Uh, so the last time, with all of the challenges we saw, of course, globally, uh, we saw shopping reducing, a uh, lot of issues around even the pounds and all of that. What is the situation now in the United Kingdom uh, following uh, even the new prime minister? He has a lot on his table. Yes, uh, things have uh, gradually picked up uh, from the last time we had uh, discussion and now. Uh, you, I'm sure you noticed that the pounds uh, has been gaining in the last couple of uh, weeks, and uh, it's uh, almost at uh, the rate where it was uh, around uh, uh, May, June this year. So it's, uh, I mean, we can say that uh, things generally has uh, picked up. We, we see more confidence in the economy. We see uh, more uh, people also <laughs> uh, coming out from their shell to uh, begin to even shop <laughs> better than they were before, uh, now that even we're in the Christmas season. So things generally are picking up uh, in the UK, and uh, I believe that generally also globally, uh, things are beginning to pick up again. Oh, let's talk about the markets now, because we know that uh, even foreign investors are not really coming into the Nigerian market because of the fear of repatriating their funds. They want to be sure of how they will move their monies. How is this affecting uh, the market in general? Yes, uh, it's always been an issue in the last couple of years with uh, foreign investors coming into the Nigerian market. Uh, there's always the issue of uh, repatriation. And more so that uh, now we have uh, other economies also increasing their interest rates. Uh, they are beginning to really look at it that is it really worth coming into the Nigerian market, even though uh, the interest rates in the Nigerian uh, market has uh, been increased or 16.5 in recent uh, in recent weeks. Uh, that still has not uh, attracted the kind of uh, uh, attraction that we, we are thinking we'll get from the uh, foreign uh, investors. Uh, for example, in the UK, the interest rates uh, is about three percent, and uh, there is. Uh, good uh, news that um, it might be increased to about 3.5 uh, by before the end of the year. Uh, so, and uh, we have the United States of America, just like you said also in your introductory speech, that uh, they've increased their interest rates to about 3.75 to about 4%, and uh, there's still room for increase. Uh, so you see that uh, investors generally are beginning to really look at it and see whether it's really worth you know, putting their money in the, in, in the Nigerian economy or leaving it in those areas where they know that the interest rate has actually also improved compared with what they were before. So they are, I'm sure for, for those that will be coming in, yes, they, they, they know that they really have to give it time to be able to withdraw their money back or repatriate their money back once they come into the Nigerian market. Oh. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we really received the kind of... Uh, inflow that we're thinking we'll get by the by raising our interest rates oh, honestly even many even think that as we move towards um, the christmas and um a new year of course the U tide uh that we should have a lot of inflow talking about diaspora remittances coming into uh the country a lot of money coming in uh, do you think that could uh, impact our uh foreign exchange market positively you know what is happening with regards to naira and the dollar Yes, so so it, so it's actually uh, a, a zigzag kind of thing because uh, as we have uh, maybe people coming in for the yield tide, you also have a lot of people also traveling out of the country and uh, converting money to foreign exchange. So it's you know so it, it's neither here or there really. 
what, what I think that we, we just need to do is, as, as a nation, is to see how we can rebirth the nation and begin to see ourselves uh, in, in that area where we begin to be producers. Because uh, every nation has its own challenges. And uh, despite the challenges, you see people, the leaders, you know, coming out and, you know, going to the drawing table to see how they can bring the nation out of the woods. And I think that is what we too, we should be doing. Uh, I've seen a lot of things uh, of lately that the Central Bank of Nigeria has been doing, which in a way is commendable uh, because I believe that if given all the necessary supports, you know, there are certain things that you'll be able to do when you tie some certain knots, you know, and uh, you, some certain leakages, it, it gives uh, that the, the economy the kind of boost that is needed. And I think if we have uh, the, the political will to do certain things in, in Nigeria, we'll be able to go far. Uh, let's talk energy, bill, energy bills now in the UK. We know at the time, government was borrowing billions of pounds to limit energy bills. Uh, what is playing out uh, around that space and also anything around the tax courts issue that was on before now? Yeah, so, so the energy bill is still in place and uh, the, the, the government uh, cushion is also still in place. And I believe that uh, we'll, we'll see that play out all through the winter period because I mean, it's getting cold, really. Uh, and uh, a lot of houses are trying to grapple with the high cost of energy. So uh, the, the government knows that uh, they really need to come in at this time. And I don't think they're backing away from what uh, they've started in the last uh, two months. And I see that continuing to uh, when the uh, winter eventually uh, for, um, is over. Uh, in, in terms of tax cuts, uh, there's been a a number of maneuvers, you know, trying to ensure that um, those that are, are really having the weight of the tax are those that are, I mean, wealthy and have uh, the income and trying to ensure that uh, the, the, the burden is not too much on the middle class and also on the lower paying class. So it, it, they've been trying to, you see, look at what really would, um, would be fair in a way and also what one can consider to be uh, to, 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 to make sense, you know, and to be realistic. And that is what uh, the new governments have done. And I think that they are getting the support of the people. Uh, the, the mortgage rates that were very high before they came in has reduced, I mean, compared with what it was when, when they came in. And uh, it's like it, it, gradually there's confidence in the economy again. And uh, I believe that uh, in, 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 the, in the next couple of uh, months, uh, they, they will be out of the wood, uh, hoping that uh, the Russian and Ukraine war to uh, subsides and uh, is not escalated beyond what it is currently. Let's take it back uh, home now. I know you're in the UK, but let's talk uh, back home. Uh, look at our market. Uh, we've seen this flip-flop. It's been up and down in recent times. This week, we've had a lot of positives. And even today, I guess we are closing positive because I already have the figures with me, 0.83% up. But in your view, what is your assessment of Nigeria's market? It seems to have this very dogged uh, kind of strength, strength in market that keeps withstanding all of the heat from everywhere. Yes, the market uh, is quite dogged. The, the stock market is quite dogged. Uh, though if we look at uh, what the real basis are, you know, that is actually pushing the market, you discover that um, there are just few, uh, few indices and uh, few uh, <clears throat> products that are actually pushing the market. Uh, basically, majority of those other uh, stocks and shares are probably just on the same level they were at the beginning of the year, or some have even fallen a little bit uh, lower. But uh, at least with the, with the new introductions, you know, in the markets, it's actually helped to uh, boost the markets and um, giving it the kind of coloration that we have currently. Uh, but, I mean, we must give credit to, to the, to the uh, major players in the markets, the market operators, the uh, regulators, and... Um, you know, even the quota companies for their resilience, despite all the uh, ash economy situation, you know, they've been able to uh, wave through the storm and kept the market uh, afloat. I mean, you can't compare it with what we are seeing in other jurisdictions. For example, uh, currently in the UK, the FTSC all share index about uh, minus 4.54. 
uh, uh, <coughs> the FTSC 100 itself is, has, has not lost so much, it's about zero, lost about 0 0.44 this year. The 250 has lost about uh, minus uh, 2.1, 0.23 this year. Then uh, for other economies like uh, the German economy, I mean, their own um, stock market has lost about 11% uh, uh, year to date. Uh, that of uh, France, about 8%. Uh, uh, the Japanese markets, I mean, the impact of uh, <clears throat> what, what is happening is not is majorly in Europe, but the Japanese market too has lost about 6% this year. Uh, I mean, we can compare that, all that can be compared with uh, what uh, NASDAQ has lost this year, whooping 67%. And uh, I mean, that's, that's really grave. So when we talk about what is happening in the Nigerian markets compared with what is happening in the major markets in the world, we, I think we still need to give kudos to the market operators uh, in the Nigerian parlance. Mm. And even as inflation also continues to hit high, we see uh, markets um, trying to um, um, institute uh, interest rates to also to uh, uh, rate hikes to address yeah. inflation, uh, which is also yeah. happening here. But many say this seems not to be raining inflation. Uh, how is it impacting uh, the market over there? And what is your outlook for the entire space? All right, so uh, I'm sure at the beginning of the year, many of these economists never knew that uh, they were going to raise interest rates as far as it is now. But uh, I mean, they, they are left with no choice than to raise it you know, to this point. And, uh, each time they look at the economy, they see what the situation is. They see uh, how the impact of what they have raised, you know, is impacting the inflation, uh, inflationary trend in the economy. They tend to uh, tweak it either by bringing it down a little bit or by, you know, by raising, up, raising it up a little again. Uh, if you look at uh, some economies like uh, the Japanese economy, I mean, they have a negative uh, interest rates. I mean, which uh, you wonder how they manage the economy with that but it's all it's all uh, towards you know ensuring that they boost uh, borrowing they boost spending and all that so each economy must look at the economy itself and see how they can you know um activate the economy how they can stimulate the economy to produce what they really want to produce and i think uh, in, in the nigerian parlance we, we really jacked up interest rates to i mean to a very high rate when compared what it was at the beginning of the year. And um, I, I think we, we just need to look at, are we really stimulating borrowing? You know, are we really en uh, ensuring that people uh, that, that, that want to go into production are able to really uh, get the necessary funds for that? It's like, we are not, we are just trying to just keep afloat, which is not really so good. I think we need as a nation to ensure that um, we, 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 we boost the economy, you know, we, we create avenues where uh, we can stimulate production and not just uh, having a, an economy that is just uh, just uh, trying to stay afloat, you know, that, that's not really what uh, we should be doing at this uh, stage in our, in our, in our nationhood. Mm. I know you're, tr you're keeping track with us, and let's wrap up with uh, the NGX figures for today. Let me reel it out to you. We are on the positive 0.83%. Gainers for today, we have Prestige Assurance, we have Thomas Watch, we have Pharma Deco, we have Boar Cement, and we have Wapik. Uh, that's in the insurance space. For losers, we have Square Motors, um, we have a Livestock Chains, Japan Gold, Jai's Bank. Uh, particularly the banking and the oil and gas stocks, uh, they are not playing so actively here today. But in your thoughts, what is your reaction to this performance? Well, uh, I think uh, the, the, the banking stocks uh, have always remained the most liquid stocks. And so we'll continue to see them, you know, play that uh, role in the markets. And uh, I mean, same as uh, of late, the oil and gas stocks has also been uh, flexing muscles and also trying to, you know, to also be uh, liquid. But what, what I just see in, in the market is that um, the major banks, you know, the, 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 the big banks, you know, have uh, really gone down this, uh, this period. They, they've not, uh, the, the, the prices have been quite low. Uh, we see some of the other smaller banks or mid banks uh, trying to catch up or at least uh, have uh, some better returns than the, than, than the bigger ones. Uh, so I, I, I want to see a situation where, I mean, the bigger banks will begin to uh, reel out the kind of figures that would uh, 
stimulates uh, investors' interest in them again. Uh, it's, it appears as if they, they, they've lost that kind of interest, investors' interest that they used to have. And uh, I think uh, it's, it's good that they, they try to see how that can be uh, revitalized again. Because that is one of the attractions in the economy when you have uh, the big banks and you have uh, investors globally uh, coming out for, for to, 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 to see how they can be part of this uh, these banks, but it's like in the last couple of uh, months and a year or two, it's like we've uh, had a situation where they've uh, not attracted the kind of uh, uh, global attraction of the investors that they used to have. You don't think there'll be any selling to one of sales for cash uh, as we move to uh, the X mass and of course the new year? Uh, the, the, the way the Nigerian market operates, uh, rather towards this period, you see the market actually peaking. Uh, and uh, closing on on a high. I mean, maybe more more like uh, you you see a lot of uh, um, institutional investors and also uh, you, you see fund managers trying to uh, close out their books on a good note. Uh, this uh, at this part of the uh, of the year. So really, you won't really if, if we see selling pressure, maybe just the, the, the next uh, one week. But after that, towards the end, there's always this stability and uh, gradual increase that you see in the in, in, in the market so i, I want to even advise uh, investors you know at, at this point in time that uh, this is the time for them to you know look at actively at the market and see what they can make before the end of the year interesting conversation investment and financial advisor there mr benga ogunola joining us from the united kingdom we well, appreciate your time i do have a great weekend and enjoy the weather thank you very much